Doobie doobie droogies, I'm gonna make the blanket from Alex's room in Clockwork Orange. Welcome to Crazy Making Behavior, the Clockwork Edition. I am actually at Warner Brothers right now, which released Clockwork Orange in the early 70s. If you're like me, you became obsessed with the movie at age 14 and had to send your mom to the mall to buy this VHS for you. My reaction to the film's content has gotten more nuanced over the years, but I have always loved its interior design. Retro-futuristic awesomeness all around. Egg furniture. And Alex had this puffy, dimensional bed cover which I've never been able to get out of my mind. Apparently made for the movie, then destroyed. If you want one, you'll probably have to make one. Alex's bed cover is made of tented hexagons, best seen when he pulls Basil the snake out of the drawer. Alternating columns of 10 and 11 hexagons cover the bed's entire surface head to foot. So we can estimate, based on the size of a 1970 single bed, that each hexagon is 8 inches in diameter. But we want the fabric to tent up when it's sewn together. So I have patterned this octagon, uh, equally sized edges, now when this gets sewn together, it will hold this tent shape, hopefully even if it's not stuffed. The original in the movie was apparently made out of some kind of neoprene, which is like a diver's suit fabric. Uh, seems hot and also kind of expensive. I consulted with the folks here in Mood, and what we came up with was this craft felt. This is going to be structural, so it should hold its shape well. It's pretty tough, and it comes in 60-inch rolls, which is nice, so I get a lot of bang for the buck fabric-wise. I'll also get some colored felt and some jersey for the pie wedges later on. Thank you, Mood! After some trial and error, I find it's most effective to cut three pies at once. I figured it would be easier to sew these things together in their proper shape, so I've uh, engineered this jig. It's that hexagon shape we saw earlier, sealed up, three of them built together. And uh, the way that I cut the pattern, I can make three of these at once and actually eliminate having to sew a couple of seams. There are undoubtedly better seamsters out there. I'm just tacking these triple pies together with hot glue and then sewing the seams. I'm a montage up since this takes a while. Seventy-three black hexagonal pyramids later, we get to the colored fabric portion of this adventure. Uh, we're going to be making pie piece shapes in four colors. Red, a burnt orange, a darker yellow, and a canary yellow. I've got to go make 438 of these. I dremeled out this piece of balsa to help me make uniform pie wedges. I'm using couch foam cut with scissors. This jig helps me get the shape right and then hot glue the fabric around the edges of the pie wedges. Triangles end up uniform and dimensional the way that I want them. Now we can apply them to the pyramids. I've just applied 73 Trivial Pursuit Games worth of pie wedges. Now the edges ended up a little bit puffed out so I'm doing a hand sew around the edges. I didn't really want there to be a seam because there's no seam in the movie. So I have foregone the brute force of a sewing machine for this. Great bullshit y'all blockos, what have I gotten myself into? And now we've got to sew all of these into the final quilt. What do you want? 
want? Bartholomew, wake up. You haven't been to school all week. Bit of a horrible pain in the Gulliver. I've been fabricating a quilt for six months. Why don't I sleep it off? Hopefully I'll be right as rain by this after. Have yourself a nice day working at Hot Topic. Now we get to the crucial question. How crazy was the level of effort involved in making this? I would have to rank the craziness level here as Tasmanian Devil off his Prozac knucking futz. It seriously took six months to do this. I suppose that's a small consolation in that I have one of the only ones of these on the face of the earth at the moment. Um, I can see why there are not a lot of them around. It takes a long time to make. But uh, if you've got tenacity and some scissors and thread and a good fabric store near you, perhaps you will find a way to make this and possibly even improve on it. In the meantime, in the uh, words of the great detective Vincent Hanna, I'm going to go sleep for a month. See you next time on Crazy Making Behavior.